Hello. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, yes, I can. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay. So uh, we are recording this uh, video, ma'am, for the future reference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good morning to you. How are you, ma'am? I am good. Thanks. I I am actually traveling, so that's why there's this noise I'm in the hotel. Okay, ma'am. So hope everything is good at your end. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you have already like talked about most of these topics in the last webinar, in our webinar. So along mm -hmm. with these questions, which I have shared with you, uh, you can also add yeah. other things uh, which are left out, like which are, which we couldn't cover in the uh, questionnaire. So uh -huh. both this aspect of uh, Brazil's production, export and market uh, scenario, as well as uh, like uh, Brazilian Institute of Tribings and uh, Pulses. Okay. Yeah. Can we start with the interview, ma'am? Yes. Yes. I have my notes here. Yeah. 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 Sure, ma'am. So let's begin with the first question. So uh, given the unpredictability of sesame markets, how does Brazil adopt to changing market conditions? And uh, are there any strategies in place to ensure flexibility in export uh, destinations? Uh, looking at the export figures for sesame in the last few years. So can you discuss the overall performance and trends? Like what factors contributed to uh, any uh, significant fluctuations? Okay. So uh, about the, the market and the changes about the destination, I believe this is the first thing we need to address, which is uh, Brazil is, is studying the Brazilian exporters with the work that we do in IBRAF. Uh, we are studying the new markets that Brazil can fulfill. For example, we've been looking into uh, destinations in North America, uh, United States, Canada, and Mexico are target markets in the Americas. Uh, we've been doing a very heavy work in towards world opening the Chinese market uh, because there's been demand for this market for Brazil, but this for the Chinese market it depends on the government authorities. So. The ministries have been discussing Brazilian and, and Chinese and negotiating the conditions to open the market. This is something that we expect to happen this year, but it's completely out of our hands. We only monitor and try to help, but depends on the government. Uh, the agricultural sector in Brazil is very responsible uh, and responsive, I mean, to the market dynamics. So, uh, the exporter gets the requirements from the international market and right away they instruct the farmers that are able to adapt their agricultural practices to what the market expects in pesticide levels, in quality levels, in cleanliness levels, uh, because at the end of the day, everybody wants to get it right, like uh, the farmer also wants to deliver the best product in order to get the best compensation. Yeah. And this is another topic very important regarding markets. Yeah. Brazilian sesame market uh, started very naive. I don't know if this, this, this will, will sound bad if you write, but very naive regarding what actually happens in the international market, like very innocent. Mm -hmm. Uh, they the exporters got the demand, started working to produce sesame, and they didn't have much knowledge about the overall price of the product okay. uh, for from the more traditional origins. So we started in a very low level price, mm -hmm. but right now the market has educated itself, and we are very aware of the global market prices. And Brazil is no longer as uh, open to accept low prices as it has been in the past year. So uh, other than that, we already received feedback from the international market regarding 
the quality of our sesame yeah. and their uses. And there is a lot of sesame, Brazilian sesame being used for tahini production, which is where is the most demand in the global market now. Yeah. And anise sesame and seda sesame, and I will send you the writing so that you can, yeah, yeah. can check it. Yeah. It will help you, I believe. Uh, but anise sesame and seda sesame uh, are very well accepted by the tahini industry. Mm. Uh, in no. order to fulfill their requirements of volume uh, and the charge that they are facing now due to different market conditions. Uh, about the export figures, yes, Brazil has grown uh, significantly over the past five years on sesame production. If you look at the graphics, uh, we are uh, and I also have these numbers, if you want to, you can ask me later. Yeah. Uh, but the production has increased very, very robustly, and the exporters together with that. Uh, there are some factors that help it, it happen in Brazil, because we are very dependent on the demand and the response of the international market, not only quantity-wise, but also price-wise. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the global demand seems to be the major players are looking into new sesame origin that have uh, specific characteristics. For example, uh, top quality, uh, stable price, yeah. and consistency, which yeah. are three things that Brazil can can supply. Uh, our price, our price. Uh, usually don't fluctuate. It only follows the movement of the international market. Mm -hmm. So in Brazil, the local price is very stable. Uh, yeah. And yeah. We, are, we are no different from the... How can I say? We are not different from the other markets. We are also dependent of what is happening overall in the world. So the yeah. COVID uh changed the dynamics here uh the wars that are happening in middle east did the same so we are very sensitive to that just like uh everyone else uh, but we are uh brazil is and the brazilian exporters are working very hard to consolidate the sesame as a product that we will keep exporting forever if possible yeah yeah okay ma'am so uh, coming to the technology so looking at the technology to address issues such as uh, ffa and bitterness can you provide more details on the technological advancements being explored to improve sesame quality yeah uh, the the ffa uh, and the bitterness issues have been addressed with Two solutions. First, seed development. Yeah. So uh, there in Brazil, there is this is happening in many different fronts. For example, there are exporters importing seeds and trying seeds from different countries. Uh, there are there is research happening on new varieties uh, in state and national levels. Uh, these researches are subsidized by the government, but the government also invests a lot in, in the agriculture in Brazil. Uh, and it comes also with the seeds, with the, we have a, a very big necessity of improving the yield because our, we have a low yield, uh, average 400 to 500 kilos per hectare. And it makes the sesame not very attractive to the farmer because he has loss during the harvest. Mm -hmm. And this is the point with the bitterness. Mm -hmm. uh, the farmers are also working into improving their harvesting techniques to avoid the, sorry, the harvest affects the FSA levels, to avoid hurting the grain as much and uh, controlling the FSA levels. Uh, and 
uh, to improve the yield. So they're working in, this, in these two, two solutions. The processing in Brazil is very advanced. This is another thing. Uh, the, pro the processing and the warehousing are usually at the very best quality. Uh, and another thing is the sell sales timing, right? With the technology, the collaboration with research institutions, universities, government, uh, institutions from abroad, uh, some, some people, some, some groups are traveling usually to see how the technology plays in other countries like Mexico, the, the United States, the, sesame, the, the machine harvested sesame. Yeah. And it will, it, uh, it will change very quickly. It has changed so far, but it tends to change in the five years. I believe the, the landscape will be different. The type of sesame that Brazil will be exporting will be much different from now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And uh, like, how many companies are there in total? Like, uh, companies which are uh, involved in like oil and tahini factories, we can say. So, how many factories uh -huh. we can see in Brazil? Uh, we we probably don't have more than than three or four uh, uh factories for this product. Okay. But what we have now uh is more companies like for the health industry, uh, healthy snacks, for example. Uh, what I've seen from the past five years is more uh, sesame-derived products in the supermarket. I go to the supermarket, I see more uh, sesame as a component in the, in the product. Okay. Uh, and I strongly believe that's because the product is more available now mm. in the local market without the need to import from other countries. It makes it cheaper and more used used in the industry okay so uh coming to the local consumption like sesame being uh, used in the local market can you elaborate on the role of like these factories only like and how significant is local consumption compared to exports the local consumption is very has very little significance compared to the international market brazil relies own the international market to sell the sesame. Um, and the industries, of course, they will they will keep pushing and we hopefully will keep pushing the local consumption of sesame uh, with innovations and with new products for to absorb this production. Because we need to reach, uh, I don't believe we will reach like 50-50. 50 exports and 50 local market, but a balance. We need to have a better ratio. I believe now, uh, if we use, if the local market consumes like 10 to 15% of the total production is a very optimistic outlook. And we need to reach a better level on that. Yeah. Okay, like uh, moving to Ibrafe, like what challenges uh, does Ibrafe perceive in the cultivation of success and uh, how does the institute plan to address these challenges? Are there any unique consideration or practices uh, recommends for successful ses sesame cultivation in Brazil? Yes. Uh, so Ibrafe, we are the Brazil, Brazil Association of Dry Beans and Sesame Seeds yeah. uh, in Brazil. Our work is to advocate for these okay. crops okay. and we work on three levels. We work on the production. Mm -hmm. So we we talk to the government towards incentives for the production, but also we encourage and bring awareness to the farmers regarding okay. these crops. Okay. Uh, we are also very much in touch with the challenges that the farmers face in the production. So uh, we encourage the diversification of the production areas. Uh, mm -hmm. At first, Sesame was focused in one region and it's growing to new regions and we go there and bring awareness about the crop to the farmers. Uh, public policy, as I said, but also 
uh, Ibrach works as a hub to connect oh. researchers, machinery industry, and government officials to promote the discussions and to help them, help make the partnerships between them happen and be a reality. Yeah. So as you said, like, uh, is there any increase in the uh, area in the Brazil, ma'am, area under Sesame, as you just mentioned? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned uh, an estimate of 10, 15% increase in the area. Yeah. But our planting season starts uh, now in February from the apart from the second week uh, we start planting so it would be easier to estimate the crop but it's fundamental to understand how the weather will affect the crop and in this case we will have a delay we have we're having a delay in the planting of other crops as it may affect uh, sesame areas as well not only in the delay but also in the increased farming costs because we have a low yield overall, but we see that the farmers that invest a little more in the handling of the crop, they get a better result, but they need to have capital to invest. Uh, but in any case, uh, what I want the readers of the magazine to rest assured is that we are able to, Brazil is able to provide sesame to their customers. Mm -hmm. uh, we will keep, if not, uh, a higher level, at least a stable uh, quantity of sesame in the market, uh, but the price is a strong incentive to a steady supply. Uh, Brazil needs to be compensated, Brazilian sesame, in the same level as other origins, uh, to guarantee that we will, stay, we will stay for a very long time in the market. Mm, yeah. So, like, how does Ibrafe plan to measure the impact of its initiatives in the sesame sector, particularly in terms of economic development and nutritional outcomes? Are there any notable success stories or milestones related to sesame cultivation since Ibrafe's yeah. involvement? Uh, regarding the sesame cultivation, uh, our events, we Ibrafe holds events in the production areas with the farmers. Uh, and bring uh, experts to talk about the cultivation. Yeah. Not only of sesame, but also dry beans, but we bring mm -hmm. it as a, a package. Yeah. Uh, we also work that make this bridge between the stakeholders for discussions and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the most important work we are doing, uh, I believe, is for the international market. Our intention, our intention is to open the gates of Brazil, uh, bring the exporters to Brazil to understand the reality, to talk to the exporters, to meet the farmers, to encourage more business mm -hmm. with Brazil. Uh, so not only we talk a lot about sustainability and how Brazil is an incredible uh, producer, but we are, we, work, we are willing to show the farmers and everyone, uh, how it actually happens in Brazil. Oh. Uh, and on that note, it's actually, this is actually something that I didn't write in my notes here, but uh, we have an ad, we will have an advertisement for the event mm -hmm. that we are hold, hosting in Brazil in April. Uh, and on that note, I want to invite everyone that's reading the magazine to come to Brazil to join this Superfood Summit. Yeah. to meet the exporters and to visit the farming areas. We yeah. will organize a few expeditions with exporters for that. And we want them to see firsthand what happens in Brazil and, Ground level. and bring, bring a more dynamic a relationship mm -hmm. for, every, for everyone involved in the sesame trade with Brazil. Yeah. That was nice, ma'am. Like, uh, how does Ibrafe plan to prevent regional manipulation of sesame prices for the benefit of all stake, uh, stakeholders? Any comments on As I saw this question. This is a very good question because Ibrafe already he releases the national price of beans. Yeah, yeah. Every day I have read he about releases that. this. Yeah. Uh, and these are numbers uh, reported by the farmers. They say, mm -hmm. oh, I sold this bean for... Uh, this quantity and this price. 
Uh, we are studying the possibility to start doing the same on sesame seeds. This is uh, this has been requested by many of our stakeholders, not only farmers but also the exporters, and we need to uh, understand better how to put that in place to bring it to to the sesame market as well. Yeah. So like, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, one more question, like considering the challenges faced in 2023, how optimistic are you about the sesame crop in 2024? Like what factors uh, will influence the estimated 10 to 15 percent, which you have mentioned in the last webinar, 10 to 15 uh -huh. percent increase in the crop size? So what are your views on this? Yes, uh, the sesame crop in 2024, in Brazil is always uh, a big question mark until we are more or less finishing the planting season. So, uh, and this is because sesame is affected by many factors in Brazil. Hmm. Price, international price is one of yeah. them. And that's why the, the exporters are starting doing some future contracts to get to kind of understand what are the levels for this year. Yeah. But also how other crops will behave. So we had a severe drought in the last, in the soybean crop. Some farmers uh, may not plant corn, may or may not. And it depends on their relationship with the corn, which is very uh, well valued in the production areas. Oh. Uh, that's how we see how much they will do of, of sesame seeds. Yeah. We're usually very optimistic. Last year we were very optimistic, but the weather was terrible and there were many losses. So uh, we need to understand this behavior, but these are the factors, I believe. Weather, sesame price, and the corn crop in, in 2024 will affect the, the crop size. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. So apart from this, uh, do you want to share anything about uh, in the aspect of Ibrafe? Yes. Uh, so Ibrafe, for the sesame market and uh, also for the dry beans market, but especially for the sesame market, we do a very strong work with the sesame exporters. Uh, we have been following the development, but also encouraging uh, the improvement of the quality of the packaging of the overall product that we deliver to the international market. So in this uh, scope, it was born uh, a project within Ibrati, which promotes the export of these, oh. these goods. And this project encompasses the best uh, exporters of Brazil. So we work very closely with them uh, we are also able to work as a channel to promote dialogue between importers and exporters, not only uh, promoting and making them meet and be friends, but also to work and to talk about serious issues uh, like uh, problems in deals and uh, problems in quality, overall discussions about the role of Brazil and the quality that it's been delivering. Yeah. And we are open to talk to the importers as well to help them uh, manage that. Okay. So you can leave them my contact information. I will send you the website of this project and the website of Ibrati, which yeah. you want to put in the, the text, the, yeah. the interview as well, yeah. so that they, they have our contacts and not only me, but our president, Marcelo. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been working in the international trade. We understand. Uh, that's important to mediate and to work as a channel for the for both sides, for the exporters but also for the importer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that was great to know, ma'am. So good. Uh, yeah, ma'am. So thank you, thank you uh, very much for sharing your uh, sharing wonderful insights with us, uh, ma'am. Uh, do you want to share anything else, ma'am? Oh, I believe that's. Uh... I believe that's a lot to cover. Yeah, yeah. And I will send you the the my notes also to help yeah, you. Okay? Sure, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Uh, and I'll prepare the transcript of this interview also. Once it is ready, I will share it with you, ma'am, for your review. Thank you. Okay, good.
Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you so much. I'll send you the notes now, okay? Yeah, ma'am. Bye. I will send you the notes right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, sure, ma'am. Thank you so much for giving your time, ma'am. My pleasure. Bye. Bye, ma'am.